Hi everyone and welcome to Fine Tune Gemma using Hugging Face Transformers and QLora. My name is Philip. I'm a DevRel engineer at Google DeepMind. I'm excited today to show you how you can fine tune and customize Gemma using a custom text to SQL data set with Hugging Face Transformers and TRL. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at what is quantized LoRa adoption or QLora. QLoRa is a parameter efficient fine tuning method where our pre trained weights are quantized to 4 bit and frozen. And we add additional uh, LoRa linear adapter which are trained um, when training the model. This means we save a lot of memory as the model is frozen and quantized. And we only need to update our added uh, LoRa adapter. And at the end of the training, you can either merge those adapters into the pre trained uh, model or you can keep them as separate adapters and use them for running inference. The first step in our example is uh, to install all of the required libraries. We make sure that uh, um, PyTorch is updated and TensorBoard is included, uh, Transformers uh, is installed, and then we install the other uh, required hugging face libraries, including datasets, um, bits and bytes, which helps us uh, run uh, the QLoRa technique, as well as PEFT, which is a library for parameter efficient fine tuning methods. This will take a few minutes and then we can continue with our training. After all of our package are installed, the next step is to log into our, the Hiding Face Hub. Um, Gemma is made available under the Gemma uh, license in terms of use. And to be able to download it from Hiding Face, we first need to accept the terms. So if you don't have a Hiding Face account, you can like, easily create one. And then you can go to the hidingface.co google slash Gemma free. Um, repositories where you can accept the terms of use and also read a bit more about Gemma if you haven't done before. Okay, then the second step of our fine tuning example is to create and prepare our data set. In our case, we are going to uh, use a text to SQL uh, task where we want the model to generate a SQL query um, based on natural text instruction. And to be able to do this, we create a user prompt. The user prompt includes the SQL schema for a table or a view, and then also the user query. And based on the table schema and the user query, our model then um, learns to generate a SQL query. So we can now load the data set from Hiking Face with the load data set method. We downsample it only to 12,000 examples uh, to make it faster and easier to train. And at the end, we um, print one example from our data set. Great. So we have our select uh, example. So that's basically the assistance message. We can also check what the user message would be in this case. Um, so the model uh, now would receive uh, the user message that has the, the schema about our table. And then the user uh, question in this case would be how many mental health uh, parity violations were reported in each state and by violation type. Great. And the, the, the model would generate select state, violation type, and so on. Awesome. Our data set is ready. And now we are ready to fine tune our model. So first we need to load our model from Hiding Face. We are going to use the auto model for kosher language um, modeling class. Therefore, uh, we define our um, flow type uh, where we are going to load the model and also the bits and bytes config. Remember, we want to um, use QLoRa for uh, training our model. So we want to quantize the model to four bit. And that's done using bits and bytes. Uh, after we define all of our configurations, we can load our model. Uh, we also load our tokenizer um, using the instruction one. So we can use the official Gemma chat template for our model. After we loaded our model, we need to define our LoRa configuration. The LoRa configuration basically defines how many and how big the adapter layers are going to be, uh, which we add to our model. And then the last final step before training the model is we need to define our training hyperparameters. The training hyperparameters define the number of epochs, the batch size, our learning rate, how many times we want to log the updates uh, into our console and a few other different parameters like we want to use TensorBoard to save our training logs. Okay, then we put everything together using the SFT trainer from Hiding Face DRL, uh, our model, our uh, training arguments, our training data set, our QLoRa configuration, and then also our tokenizer. Now the trainer basically uses our tokenizer and applies it to all of our training samples to create the Gemma jet template. After that it's done, we can start our training with trainer.train. Okay, everything is loaded. We can start our training, perfect. All right, the model is now training for three epochs or 3,150 steps and takes around two hours. See you in a bit.
Our training is finished and was successful. We can see the training loss going down from almost 2 to 0 0.6. Uh, we can also see that uh, we successfully saved our model in the Gemma text to SQL folder. In there we have the adapter config and the adapter model. Um, both basically include our new trained weights. We can now uh, merge it back into our base model or we can directly run inference. Therefore, you can check out our um, guide in the Gemma docs, test model inference and generate SQL query or follow the Jupyter Notebook. Ciao!